This is an overview of the interactive circle infographic widget by Unlimited Elements for Elementor. Let's get started. To get started, drag the interactive circle infographic into your Elementor column. What this widget consists of is content in the middle and toggle buttons that change the content in the middle. For example, if I click on one of these icons over here, it will change the content inside. Let's jump into the settings and see what we can customize. So at first, when the widget is loaded to the page, you can add some title or text. If you don't want to show a default title and text that's not connected to one of the items, then you can change first selected to yes. And now the first item will be selected by default instead of showing this text. Inside of the buttons, we can decide to make buttons show only text or only an icon. So for example, if I turn off the icon, then the buttons will show only text and I can uh, go the other way around. So now they're showing only icons. Over here in the items is how we manage the data over here. So for example, if I delete an item, the circle infographic knows how to adapt automatically and calculate the position of the buttons. Let's jump into the style tab and see what styles we have. So the first style is for the circle size. This is the outer circle size, and you can change this using the slider to whatever you want, and it will adapt. This setting is a responsive setting, so you can change the setting in tablet and on mobile. Circle padding is for the padding inside of the circle itself. This is also a responsive field. Circle background, you can change the background color of the circle itself. And you can also add or take off the border. So right now there's a solid two pixel black border. Let's just push up the border width a little bit so you can see how that looks and jump into the button section. Over here in the button section, the button is actually the small circles over here. So for these, we can change the button text typography. Right now the text is off, so I'm not gonna change that. Button background color, so for example, let's go for black background. And this is for the button that is selected, so that's why it has a different background color. So you can change actually all of the colors for the regular state, and for the selected state. Over here we have an option to make the button circle size bigger or smaller and the icon inside you can also make bigger or smaller. Button border type so right now there isn't any border around the not selected buttons but for the active buttons there is a border so let's push up the width for the selected buttons so you can see how that looks and you can see it's affecting this button over here. In the separator, what we have is this is actually the separator. It separates between the title and the description. So you can change the color of this to whatever color you want, the width, the height and the spacing. It just space it out from the title. Over here in title, we also have all the typography settings. So let's just make uh, this title with a bigger font maybe make the weight something bolder you can also jump between the different font families and play around with that and for text we have the same settings so if you want to space out the text you can do that change the color and the typography i hope you guys found this tutorial helpful and i'll see you in the next video